Hi guys, it's Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. Today we're doing step two of the introduction to the Sonom XP7. This will be a little more in depth on how to use the actual features of the phone. Uh, this first step, of course, is turning the phone on. So to turn the phone on, we push the power button on the side right here, hold it in until you feel a vibration, and then wait about 15 or 20 seconds while it goes through its entire boot up process. Once it comes to the main screen, which is this one here, you'll notice across the top of the screen we have some icons. And what these icons are is it gives you a brief synopsis of what's going on with the phone. So this one tells me that I have a Gmail that I have missed that I haven't responded to yet. This next one here with the little arrow shows that I have some updates that are available. This one here shows a little vibration on the phone and that indicates that the phone is on vibrate mode. If I turn up the volume, that goes away and you can see by pushing that I'm increasing the volume on the phone. Uh, we'll just turn that off for now. Next we'll see the phone is on the LTE network and it has good signal strength. It has about 50% battery and this is what time it is. This is the Google search bar and here's where you would either tap on this side to type in a uh, search location for Google or hit the microphone to use your voice search. On the screen, uh, we, this is the main screen which has the home icons. Here is the page two and there's page three. You can have as many pages as you want. Uh, down here is the icon setting and this shows you that we have three pages of icons. Uh, it's very simple to move the icons around. You simply grab and hold until it moves and then you just drag it to another page and let it go. When you finish with that, if you push the home button, you're back to the home screen. Now I want to show you something here with how to answer a phone call because one of the things you'll notice uh, when a phone call comes in is that it makes a lot of noise and it has three different positions that you can move the selector button to. So let's just wait till this call comes in and then we'll go through that. So here's the incoming call. Now you'll notice we have the phone call here. We have a red telephone, we have a green telephone, and we have a message. If you want to answer the call, you simply take this and drag it to the green side. If you want to ignore it and send it to voicemail, drag it here. If you're busy, take it and drag it up into the message section. And here's a list of pre-canned messages that you can send to whoever's calling you. So right now we're going to say, I can't talk now, what's up? So we simply hit that and it'll send a text message to that person telling them, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now, I'm busy, and the call will go to your voicemail. It is possible to customize those messages to make something that's more personal and suits your needs better. So down here, the next one we have is the people icon. So this will be your entire contact list. So if we wanted to call Alan, we would simply tap on that. And up here, if I had his name, and his phone number, his fax number, his address, all of that would show up. And I would simply tap on that and it would make the call for me. If I want to add a new contact, I simply tap on the plus icon and then I would put in the name, put in the phone number, the email address and whatever else I wanted. Uh, you can add other fields if you need to, and then when you're done, you simply press the done icon. Next we have the text messaging icon. So on this one, this opens up your text message, and if we hit, this will open up to where we were when we were last in this menu. So if we hit the back button, it'll take us back, and here you can see the last three text messages that I've sent. If I wanted to resend a message to Bob, I would simply tap on his, and that would bring me back to his icons. Um, if I want to send a new text, I go down here and I tap on the plus icon. And then what I would do is I would change this to numbers and I will go 780-446-0866. And then I would tap on this and I would enter the text. Now you'll see there's a couple of ways you can enter text. You can enter the individual letters and push send, or you can do what they call swipe. So you take the letters and you trace the pattern of your word. This is quite a bit faster once you get used to it, and you'll also notice that on this line, it'll give you some choices. So if I didn't really want the word test, and I actually wanted the word rest, I would simply tap on that, and it would change the word to rest, and then I would just tap the send icon, and off it goes. And once again, when you're finished your text, all you do is hit the home button. Now one of the things that we want to show you is when you put the phone back in your pocket, tap the power button, and that's going to turn off the screen, and that'll prevent you from pocket dialing. 
if a call comes in, it'll light the phone up automatically. If you want to light the phone up yourself, just tap the power button again, and it'll come back to this screen, and you'll notice there's a padlock there. That's because the, the screen is locked. If you just take the padlock and you drag it out of the circle, then that'll unlock the phone, and then you're ready to uh, do whatever you want. Now, a couple things you'll also notice is because we have some icons up here in the top, that means that we've missed something. Now, if you're not sure what you missed, if you take one finger and drag it down, this will tell you that you now have, I have five updates, I have a Google thing I have to, and I missed a call from this number here. So if I want to call that person back, I would simply tap that, and it would allow me to call that person back. To close this menu, just swipe back up with one finger. Now, the other thing you need to know is if you swipe down with two fingers, you'll get a different menu. And what this is, this gives you your shortcuts. So here's the shortcut to my brightness and to my settings and my battery life and my LTE and my owner information if I had put any of that in. So if you want to make some quick changes or turn on your Bluetooth or turn on your airplane mode, that's the quickest way to do it. And then when you're done, simply swipe back up. These phones run on the Android system. It's running Android 4.4 which is also known as KitKat. This is the most common operating system on smartphones worldwide with over a billion devices that are running this kind of software. So it's extremely popular. Most of you have probably already seen it on other smartphones like Samsung S5 or the LG G2 or the, some of the HTCs. Uh, so it's a very simple system to learn. If you have a specific question, one of the easiest ways to learn it is to simply go to YouTube and type in Android 4.4 how do I add a contact or whatever your particular question is and you will find a, uh, a large amount of videos that will explain things for you. That pretty much does it for this video. Uh, we will be back um, in the next video with an introduction to the TELUS link. Thanks for watching.